1684 for this. Are you kidding me? Holy smolies. 1006 for 18 large eggs. Holy smolies. $5.67 for one can of Libby's corned beef. 12 ounces. 12 ounces. $5 for a can of asparagus. <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> I always like clever advertising. Lucky Charms, magically delicious. Who does the magic about the price though? Twenty-one ninety-seven for this little tiny toy. This is ridiculous. It's just plastic. This can't cost more than twenty cents to to make for plastic, right? And granola, seven twenty-nine for this. Oh my gosh! High in antioxidants. <laughs> high in price. Look at all the plywood <laughs> stacked to the ceiling. No one's buying. The other thing with all these uh, these uh, unrented uh, pieces of equipment here is you have people that are looking for work just waiting here out front and you can see them and there's just a lineup of them everywhere around Home Depot just just waiting to uh, just waiting to get a job just waiting for some day labor and you know what egg prices they're insane i've been checking egg prices they keep going up i don't know what the heck is going on so i'm gonna check prices at a few different stores and i'll let you know but uh, anyways let's head in here and check these prices out i don't know what what's going on it's just nuts so let's find out i think it's just crazy and i'm just tired of paying these prices i mean even at walmart and and uh sam's i was just in sam's they had Two 18 packs of white eggs, $13.44. I said, no way, no way. Now, here's some crazy tomato prices. $2.69 a pound for these tomatoes, beefsteak. Green tomatoes up there, $3.99 a pound. Jeez, oh man. Red cluster tomatoes, $2.79. It says vine ripe, but those are the vine ripe, $2.99. Plum tomatoes, $1.99. Oh my gosh, compartment, compart tomatoes, organic, $4.99. This is just nuts. Wild wonder tomatoes. It's just getting crazy. Now, I even found milk here, and I hate, I hate to say it, but $7.99 for organic milk. I mean, come on, $5.79 five for regular milk, $4.99 for that. I mean, come on. This is just getting crazy. I mean, look at five, five twenty nine dollars just for fat-free milk here. It's just the grocer's brand. I mean, things are getting crazy. $5.29 for whole milk. Come on. Ridiculous. Here's some bacon prices here. Jeez, $15.99. Probably a couple, three pounds. No, a couple pounds. Two pounds, $9.99. $7.49. Regular $10.99. $9.99 for Oscar Mayer. $9.99. Well, oh, two for $11. Oh, this isn't too bad, right? On sale. $7.49, $10.99, two for $11, $10.99 down there. Jeez, oh man, I tell you, you can't have bacon and eggs anymore. <laughs> 10, 10 06 for 18 large eggs, holy smolies. 503 for medium, jumbo 783, $3.99 for something, but they're not here. <laughs> 589 for brown, 509 for the egg lamb, and just these regular pack. $8.39 for those, $14 for those right there. Holy smolies, but the price of these eggs, that's insane. Well, I tell you, I'm wearing Aldi right now. I checked Win Dixie. Did you see the price of the eggs? $10.99 for 18 eggs. That's insane. It's just, it's crazy. I, I mean, I'm checking bacon, eggs, and milk. I have no bacon at home. And I said, I love bacon and eggs, but the price of it, I mean, it's just, it's unaffordable. I don't know what's going on, but uh, we're at Aldi right now. Let's go in, let's check their prices. Now, bacon here isn't too badly priced. I mean, $3.99 for some of this bacon here. This isn't too bad. Bacon for $3.99. That's a little pricey for fatty bacon. $4.19 for premium bacon. This isn't too bad here. Whatever that was, lower sodium bacon. And $7.99 for 24 ounces. Well, that's still a little pricey, but you know, that's that's the bargain here. At least I can find some bacon, you know. But I noticed their milk is 305 here and they have a ton of it. But their eggs, they're 453. Look at the look at all the eggs, but Here's, here's what it says right here. Due to recent market conditions, our egg retail has increased. We apologize for any inconvenience. 4.53 for a dozen white eggs. Oh my gosh. 
Look at this. That's the price of eggs. Jeez. I, I tell you, did you see the price? Eggs were four fifty-three, and they only had one selection: a dozen white eggs and Aldi. And uh, <laughs> the bacon wasn't too bad. I should have got some bacon there, but I like to get it from a butcher shop, and it's about five ninety-nine, six ninety-nine a pound. But you know, that's what I like because there's no sodium nitrates in it. It's not packaged. He smokes his own. So let's head to Walmart. Let's check their stuff if there's anything on the shelf. <laughs> We're heading into Walmart here. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the price of gas is $3.33 at Walmart. I saw it at $3.39 at, at Wawa. I just passed it on the corner. Gas is just going up. And uh, I don't know why, all of a sudden it just shot right up, but uh, probably because the US dollar is falling. It's been falling all week, holy smolies. There we go, we're gonna check stuff out, Walmart. We're gonna see what's going on here today. I came in here Sunday and it was just a mess. I didn't bring my camera, but uh, holy cow, it, there wasn't any meat, there wasn't anything on the shelf. Well, one reason I came here for is these tomatoes right here. I had them before, and I'm gonna buy a package of these, 98 cents. And I believe it's for the package, because you put the scanner on, on like that, and it scanned 98 cents, because I only had three in it, and it was 98 cents. The other day I put four in, it was 98 cents, so I'm gonna get me some tomatoes. But these are a good price. Those are not. <laughs> Just crazy. These little tomatoes, the little cocktail tomatoes, they're always expensive, so I don't think this is too bad. Now that's nuts. Look at this, $2.98 for this little thing. Holy cow. $2.98 for a little thing of tomatoes. <laughs> Guess what we're gonna be checking egg prices next. <laughs> you know we're gonna be shell-shocked, so let's head in, let's check it out. I tell you, here's some eggs right here, but there's not, this is not too bad for Whole Foods. $5.79, $3.29 for six. $5.99 for 18, that's not bad. <laughs> $7.49 for Nest Fresh uh, 18 of these eggs. And uh, where's my happy eggs? Oh, we got some true eggs, true blues, $9.99, 12 eggs. And $11.49, but they're not here. Oh my gosh, oh, maybe there's such a deal they sold out. But here, $9.99 for 18. $4.19 for these aren't bad, right? <laughs> $6.99. And I can't, let me see, $5.99 for those guys. Where's the ones I saw for $3.49? Not bad, brown eggs, right? $3.49, and uh, I mean, that's the best deal we can find. Cheaper than Publix right here, $3.49. Not bad, not at all. <laughs> I mean, that's the only price you can pay nowadays with eggs, and I don't know what's going on with them, but there's your prices. $4.19 for those, $6.99. That's cheaper than the white eggs. Oh, and they have their high-priced uh, cereal on sale. Seven nineteen, regular nine fifty, but it's on sale today. But this is regular price. Oh, it's kosher. It's um, uh, seven fifty though. But that's what you look. Ten, ten, ten forty nine for this. Ten forty nine. Not a bad bargain, huh? <laughs> I mean, these are some expensive cereals, but ten, ten forty nine for that. Come on, who's buying that stuff? Five twenty nine for Panda Puffs. Kashi $4.99 on sale, $3.14. That's actually pretty good. I like Kashi. If you remember, um, I don't know what that is, but four, $4.50. You gotta look for the bargains if you want it. In granola, $7.29 for this. Oh my gosh, high in antioxidants, <laughs> high in price. Some of the eggs weren't too bad. Did you see that? I mean, they're even cheaper than Publix. I mean, the $3.50 for a dozen brown eggs, and you know, that's the price we gotta pay. That's it, what are we gonna do, you know? We're, we're stuck with it, but uh, now uh, we're gonna head to Walmart, tried to get there last night, but the place was sold out, so I couldn't really show, I couldn't really show you any eggs, but uh, we're heading to Walmart now. After this, we're going to uh, try and find the Publix and uh, check eggs there. I know they're high there, but uh, so, well, I decided to make a trip to Home Depot. I need more air filters, and I noticed one thing here, which I never noticed before, and uh, it's the, all the rental equipment that two years ago you couldn't find a single piece of rental equipment at Home Depot and now check it out right here it's everywhere you can't it says rent today rent today rental equipment just stacked up here nobody's using it not a, nobody's nobody's renting this stuff and it's just piled here you can see it's some of it starting to rust nobody's using it look at all these articulating lifts right here and these are expensive lifts 
These cost about $180,000, $200,000, believe it or not. And they're just sitting here. There's one, two, three, four, five of these things sitting here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And it says rent, rent today. No one's renting them. No one's renting any of this stuff. It's just sitting here. Home Depot trucks. Little tiny uh, backhoes here. Trailers. Another little mini excavator. That's a little tiny guy. All it says rent today. All the tools. Rent, rent, rent. No one's using them because construction is down. The, look at all the Penske trucks. And you see all the Home Depot trucks. Just nothing is renting. This is this is the state of the economy right now. Before this would all be rented out. Nothing. Nobody's renting it. All the grills they have stacked up just before you walk in here. Just sitting out here in the weather. Unsold. Nobody wants them. Just stacked right up here. Overstocked. And here's all their tool chests all stacked up right here. Unbought. Because there's so many of them just overstocked overstocked with these guys holy smolies look at that oh my gosh yep more overstock everywhere you look no shortage of building supplies anymore look at all the drywall stacked up here look at the all-purpose uh, joint compound it's all full here all this drywall you could never find it before the lumber's stacked all the way to the ceiling and you can see it over there plywood stacked to the ceiling <laughs> overstock look at that there's just no building going on holy smolies it's everywhere you could never find this before and it was super expensive look at all the plywood <laughs> stacked to the ceiling no one's buying it's because there's no more building i mean the the contractors are building but they're not coming here to do it the other thing with all these uh these uh, unrented uh, pieces of equipment here is you have people that are looking for work just waiting here out front and you can see them and there's just a lineup of them everywhere around Home Depot just just waiting to uh, just waiting to get a job just waiting for some day labor and uh, I don't blame them but they're they're all just hanging around all over uh, Home Depot parking lot and uh, they they need some work they're out of work they're, they're out of work and, and they're just looking for someone if they're going to build something and, and they hang out here just hoping someone they can get it just get a day's job I mean at least three at least they're working but they're all they're all just hanging around out here you can see them just just waiting for work and uh, but you can see I mean people waiting out here and uh, there's not many people buying it's just the economy I mean you don't hear the media saying that at all and that's why that's why I like doing what I'm doing reporting the real economy because you're not going to hear it on the local news they don't want to tell you that if they if the if the media told you that home values are dropping in price and then no one will buy and they'll wait and then that'll just crash the market even further they don't want to tell you that they don't want to tell you anything but you can see the real economy. This is what's going on here. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. All these people, they're just waiting here for uh, for work. People that come out of Home Depot and, and they need some work. And they're all just waiting waiting around here, just hope, hoping to get some work just for the day. Just waiting. They have their lunches packed, their work boots on, just waiting. And they're all around here waiting for a chance to work i have no idea what's going on with egg prices and, and that's what i want to do with this show i want to show everybody the price of eggs and and ask the question why <laughs> why is it so expensive to have eggs i don't get it is there some kind of a chicken flu if it has it's been going around for about uh, what a year right now so uh we're just trying to figure this whole thing out and uh check these prices here at walmart <laughs> We'll, we'll see what happens. I was in the one yesterday by my, my house, and it was $14 and something, but there wasn't any on the shelf. Maybe it's such a big deal. You know, good, such a good bargain. Everybody said, let's grab them. $7.23 for eggs. Holy cow, 18 The two-pack of them would be $14.60. Holy smolies. Some of these brown ones, $4.67, aren't too bad, but they're not in the rights. $4.92 for a dozen of these guys, the white. Holy cow. And here's the 18 packs that are $14, $5.98 for these guys right here. 
and 612 for jumbo. Six dollars and twelve cents for a dozen jumbo eggs and eight. Well here's a new high on something. Raw almond butter. I know it's expensive, but 1684? That's crazy. Here's almond butter, 994. 1684 for this. Are you kidding me? Holy smolies. <laughs> I mean the prices of this stuff. I mean even for honey here. 1194. This is $15, $12, $5, but it's a tiny little container. $12.96 for honey. Honey's, look at, look at this little guy for $3.98, holy smolies. Look at the price of honey, it's so expensive. $2.67, oh I found my bargain, hot honey. <laughs> but $9, $9.47, even the jams. 568 for this. The, here's some Smucker's apricots, always good, but four dollars now. Four dollars, four bucks, six dollars almost. My goodness. I always like clever advertising. Lucky Charms magically delicious. Who does the magic about the price though? <laughs> I like making fun of products and all their their crazy little uh, advertising things. Lucky Charms. A lot of expensive stuff here. I don't know how we can afford it. Oh, 244. Oh, I can get this. 244. This should be it. This should be about a dollar fifty-nine. Even oatmeal is expensive now. 786. Your great value oatmeal. Quaker oatmeal. Instant grits. Everything is expensive now. Everything is just shooting up in price. Oh, buck sixty-eight right there. Not bad. 786. 786. 786. All the spices have gone up. I know these are real nice, but the prices on these five dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. Even the cheap ones now, two dollars, two dollars, three dollars. Great value. It's all doubled in price. All the stuff is just doubled in price. All the spices, McCormick. These seem to have stayed the same, but five dollars, five dollars, five dollars for this. It's it's all gone up in price. All the spices have gone up. They pretty much have doubled, doubled in price. And here's a can, one can of corned beef right here, five sixty-seven, five sixty-seven for one can, five dollars and sixty-seven cents for one can of Libby's corned beef, twelve ounces, twelve ounces. <laughs> this rose, I guess, is what they call it, is expensive here. Marinara, eight fifty-two, six eighty-eight. But you know, it's full. It's completely full. 448 for that Lucina 596 all the expensive stuff is just full and here's the prego I, I don't care for prego at all <laughs> oh jeez in in ragu it's a dollar 96 no 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 thanks no thanks but there's your prices a buck 96 for this and you come over here and you start getting into seven dollars but no one's buying it now here's something that's really funny here green giant look at this who would look at dented can? Who would ever buy these um, this asparagus in 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 a, in a can? <laughs> Four ninety eight, and then even this stuff, two ninety eight. I mean, could you imagine how that tastes? <laughs> Five dollars for a can of asparagus. <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> has, has anybody seen the price of toys? Twenty one ninety seven for this little tiny toy. It's it's twenty one ninety seven, and. And 24 for this, 37 for this, 50 for this piece of plastic. Gigantosaurus, Gigantosaurus price. <laughs> I mean, action figures like this, $15. I mean, I'm super squishy, <laughs> the price isn't, but just the price of toys. I mean, I mean, we've all bought toys for our kids, but 37, 24 dollars, but 21 dollars for this this toy. This is this is ridiculous. 21.97 for this little tiny toy. This is ridiculous. It's just plastic. This can't cost more than 20 cents to to make for plastic, right? 55 dollars for that can't be in the right price, but 55 dollars for whatever this is. 55. Oh, it's 34 dollars for this. 30. Four dollars for this stuff. Transformers. I like the movies, but not the price here. Ridiculous prices. It, it's just insane. I mean, thirty-four dollars, thirty-seven. Something here is eleven ninety-seven, twenty-nine dollars for this. Crazy prices. Fifty-five for this. 
I don't even know what that is, but it's 55, 50 Transformers stuff, $55. I was just walking by the carpet aisle and I noticed these, these prices on these little throw rugs here, $80, 64, 96, 75, 102 for a five by seven rug. The prices on these, you can see $75 for this area rug, 102 for that one, a four by six rug. There's one affordable. $22, <laughs> but $84 right for this? Come on, no way, $54 for that? 96 for something like this, $96 just for that. That's crazy, all these prices. I mean, this is inflation right here, hyperinflation. Something like this is $80, what is this? Look at this, this is funny looking, but, but $80 for that? $80 just for this. Are you kidding? <laughs> I tell you what, I was really surprised by the carpets in Walmart. That shocked me more than anything. I mean, what, what is there to a carpet? You see the prices? They're through the roof. It's crazy. And I thought the almond butter was expensive. Well, it actually is. And, and the eggs are expensive. I went out uh, on a quest for eggs these last couple days. And uh, all eggs are. And I don't understand why. But anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.